Our team coverage now moves to the mass shooting in Dayton, Ohio. Nine people were killed early Sunday morning when a gunman opened fire outside a popular bar. CBS 4's Rio Creighton joins us live in the studio now with the latest. Rio. Well, Lauren and Carly, that rampage took place in Dayton's nightlife district. The gunman wearing body armor opened fire on the crowd. Police responded in under a minute, but that was all it took for him to kill nine and injure 27 others. It was just after one o'clock in the morning when people began to scatter on East Fifth Street. <laughs> fleeing another young man with murder on his mind. We got shots fired, we got multiple people down. People start running, and that's when I start hearing shots fired. The shooter has been identified as 24-year-old Connor Betts of nearby Bellbrook, Ohio. That's him on Facebook, and him again early Sunday after police ended his rampage. For about 30 seconds, Fifth Street was a killing field as the shooter, in armored vest and toting an assault rifle with hundreds of rounds of ammunition, opened fire on the crowds outside of a bar called Ned Peppers. Had this individual made it through the doorway of, of Ned Peppers, with that level of weaponry, there have been a catastrophic injury and loss of life. When it was through, nine people were killed, including the shooter's own 22-year-old sister, Megan, all of them mostly African-American from their mid-20s to age 57, gunned down on the street or sidewalk. Examples of the damage an assault weapon can do in seconds. 27 others were wounded or injured. Right now, I got one of the great in the head. The vast majority of the 16 to, to, that we treated were gunshot wounds, but then we did have people sustaining lacerations and other blunt trauma uh, in an effort to escape the uh, shooter. Brad Howard knew Betts for 20 years. Betts, the Connor Betts that I knew was a nice kid. The Connor Betts that I talked to, um, I always got along with well. The sources told CBS News that while in high school, Betts created a hit list, including women who had rejected him romantically. Others called him aggressive and unstable. Live in the studio, Riel Creighton, CBS 4 This Morning.